All right, thank you, Mark. Now to a mysterious letter from a stranger. It gave a local family the greatest Mother's Day gift they could ask for. Inside was a rare photo that brought them to tears. 13 Wham's Tyler Brown has more on how one man's hobby has turned into acts of kindness for several families here in Rochester. Tyler? Yeah, that's right. I spoke to two Rochester sisters whose mom passed away back in 2014. They never had many photos of their mom's younger years. That was until they got a mysterious letter from Ohio. Nancy Bama and Anne Marie Schmidt say their family was suspicious at first after receiving a letter from Lexington, Ohio. The sender was Aaron Turner, a man they had never met before. He introduced himself as someone who had purchased an online photo album that was vintage from 1934-35 school year from uh, Horace Mann, PS number 13 on Gregory Street in Rochester, New York. The mysterious letter came with the black and white picture of kindergarten students. One of them was June Brock, their mother. We were shocked because we had no uh, photographs of my mom at a young age. To have her surprise us this way right before Mother's Day was really a blessing for our family. Turner's hobby is collecting old yearbooks and photos, hoping to return pictures of loved ones to their family. His latest project is two photo albums he bought on eBay, belonging to an unnamed Rochester teacher from the 1930s and 40s. It's unusual for albums to have so much information um, and names written down in them. The albums name more than 30 students. Turner says he has been using census data and obituaries to track down the families. I enjoy getting the responses from people. Obviously, that's very rewarding, and it's something that is um, makes it worthwhile to do. It was a Mother's Day miracle for the sisters, who still think of their mother, June, daily. It's been a hard year, and to think that there's still kindness and people thinking of others um, after such a hard year, it's pretty, uh, pretty rare. Turner tells me he's still trying to locate the families of several other people named and shown in that photo album. We have a list of them on our website, 13wham.com. Jenny Doug? Oh, great story. What a gift.